Thank you all for joining us this morning at the Veterans Day Flag Ceremony at St. John Vianney School. Today, it is our privilege to say thank you to all of America's veterans, to let them know that we appreciate them for their service and honor them for their sacrifices. A veteran is someone who has served in one of the five armed services that make up the United States military. The five services of the military are the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, and the United States Coast Guard. The Army is the main ground force of, and the largest branch of the military. The Army's job is to control and fight on land using soldiers, helicopters, tanks, and artillery. The Navy fights on oceans and seas throughout the world. The Navy uses all sorts of warships, such as destroyers, aircraft carriers, and submarines. US Navy is, the U.S. Navy is significantly larger than any other Navy in the world. With a, it is armed with 11 of the world's 21 aircraft. The Marines are the main landing force for the military. The Marines are part of the Navy. They work closely with the Navy in attacking and establishing beachheads during war. The Marines are often some of the first warriors to enter combat, and they guard the United States embassies around the world. The Air Force is part of the military that fights using aircraft, including fighter planes and bombers. The Air Force was part of the Army up until 1947, when it was made into its own service. The Air Force is also responsible for the military satellites in outer space. The Coast Guard is a separate from the other branches as it is part of the Department of Homeland Security. The Coast Guard is the smallest of the military branches. It monitors the U.S. coastline and enforces border laws, as well as helps with ocean rescues. The Coast Guard can become part of the Navy during times of war. Veterans Day occurs on November 11th <coughs> every year in the United States in honor of the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918 that signaled the end of World War I, known as Armistice Day. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day on November 11, 1919, the first anniversary of the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for an annual observance, and November, November 11 became a national holiday beginning in 1938. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower officially changed the name of the holiday from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. Veterans Day commemorates veterans of all wars. So today we pay tribute to all American veterans, living or dead, who served their country honorably during war or peacetime. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude to the American service members who died in battle or were wounded. We can, however, recognize and thank the veterans still living. Today we celebrate America's Veterans Day for keeping this nation the land of the free and the home of the brave.